I'm going to show you how to make a Panaline wash also work as a filter. So stick around. What is going on everyone and welcome to another video. I'm Brian with Ampy Sprue and today I'm going to show you how I use MIG Ammo Panaline Wash for panel lines and as a filter at the same time. For this effect you'll want to apply two light coats of satin, acrylic, or lacquer clear coat before getting started. I used Alclad's clear coat semi-matte lacquer finish. You could also use a flat finish, however, it'll absorb a lot more of the panel line wash, making it more difficult to blend or remove, but in some cases this may be your desired effect. Almost any clear coat will work as long as it's not enamel. Some low grade acrylic clear coats can be affected by the panel line wash or by the thinners. Using a fine point brush like this 3-0 pointer, load the brush with wash by dipping it in the bottle. Wipe off the excess on the side of the bottle. You don't want your brush to be too loaded with the panel line wash. Then lightly touch the point of the brush directly to the panel line. You'll see the wash flow from your brush a ways down the panel line. The wash flows into the recessed areas by a characteristic known as capillary reaction. The excess wash left outside the panel lines will be used to blend into the surrounding area once it is dried. If you wish to keep an area around a specific panel line clean, use more care to keep the wash only in the lines or Use the traditional gloss coat panel line wash technique where you can completely clean the surface if needed. See how transparent the wash is here? This is because the panel line wash color ingredients settle very fast in the bottle, leaving thinner at the top where you dip your brush. This is why it's important to shake the bottle frequently even while you're using it, unless of course your situation requires less color. Once the wash is completely dried, you can remove as much or as little as you like. Dip a soft brush with long bristles in a gentle, artist's paint thinner such as this. Dry the brush off on a paper towel until it's almost completely dry. This process requires very little thinner in the brush. Use the brush to swipe across the panel lines. If you swipe with the panel lines, it'll remove the wash from inside the panel lines or recessed area. Keep an eye on your brush. As it gets too dirty, rinse it in the thinner and dry the brush again. If your thinner gets too dirty, you may need to refill the cup with some clean thinner. This also means you may have applied too much wash. The idea here is not necessarily to remove wash, but more to blend it in. Remember to work in layers. Additional coats of the panel line wash increase the amount of color absorbed by the painted surface. Areas like this where there is too much color can be fixed by blending with a little bit wetter brush, a firmer brush, or even a moistened cotton bud.
very little. To 